today we are going to talk about HIV and AIDS. HIV is an enveloped virus. There is lipid bilayer outer membrane. There are some glycoprotein molecules like GP47 and GP120, which help virus in primary attachment with CD4 molecules on T cells. HIV1 and 2 viruses are retroviruses and these are enveloped single stranded positive sense RNA viruses. Glycoprotein 120, which is viral enveloped protein, binds to the host CD4 molecules on T cells. Pathophysiology HIV binds to CD4 receptors on helper T cells, monocytes, and macrophages via GP120 enveloped glycoprotein. These CD4 cells migrate to lymphoid tissue where virus replicates, producing billions of new virions. New virions released and infect new CD4 cells. As infection progresses, depletion or impaired function of CD4 cells leads to decreased immune function which leads to AIDS. Transmission and Risk Factors Male to male transmission is most common transmission in US. Unprotected sexual intercourse, especially receptive anal intercourse, sharing of IV drug paraphernalia, blood products from infected donors, mucosal contact with infected blood or needle stick injuries, maternal HIV infection. Presentation Clinical HIV infection undergoes three distinct phases acute thyroconversion phase, asymptomatic infection phase, and AIDS. Acute seroconversion. About 80% people in this phase are symptomatic, typically 14 to 28 days after infection. Symptoms during this time may include fever, flu-like illness, lymphadenopathy, and rash. During this phase, infection is established and proviral reservoir is created. At this point, viral load is typically very high and the CD4 T cells count drops precipitously with wide dissemination of virus and seeding of lymphoid organ. Seroconversion defines as a time for HIV exposure to infection and to developing detectable levels of HIV antibodies. Seroconversion may take a few weeks up to several months. Asymptomatic HIV infection. At this stage, infected persons with HIV exhibit few or no signs or symptoms for a few years to 10 years or more. Viral replication is ongoing during this phase and immune response against virus is effective and vigorous. Persistent generalized lymphadenopathy is an outcome of infection in some patients. During this phase, viral load, if not treated, tends to persist at a relatively steady state, but CD4 T cell count steadily declines. Early initiation of therapy in asymptomatic period is effective. AIDS When the immune system is damaged enough that significant opportunistic infections begin to develop, the person is considered to have AIDS. It is defined as HIV infection with either CD4 T cell count below 200 cells per microliter or occurrence of specific diseases associated with HIV infection. Most common initial conditions that alert to the presence of AIDS are pneumocystis pneumonia, HIV wasting syndrome, esophageal candidiasis. People with AIDS have an increased chance of developing Various malignancies like Kaposi sarcoma in 10 to 20% patients, Burkitt lymphoma, primary CNS tumor, and cervical cancer. People with AIDS frequently have systemic manifestations like long fever, night sweats, swollen lymph nodes, chills, unintended weight loss, chronic diarrhea, mouth ulcers, and fatigue.